Hey guys, it's Robo13, and I'm going to be posting a video that I'm sure tons and tons and tons of people have been looking for. Um, if they have an MC model of the iPod Touch, second gen, because there hasn't really been a jailbreak out for that for a long, long, long time. But now there's a 4.2.1 jailbreak untethered for the iPod Touch second generation MC model. Okay? And um, the jailbreak is with Green Poison. So I will have a link in the description. You can download that. It'll probably be a mirror, or you can just go to greenpoison.com and download it for Windows or Mac. This works for both. I'll be uh, showing you a Windows version of it, but it's the exact same thing for a Mac. Um, right now I'm restoring. This is my brother's iPod Touch, um, eight gigabyte. It's, this is the MC model. I'll show you that when it's done restoring. Um, second generation and I will show you how to jailbreak the 4.2.1 firmware uh, untethered so you don't have to worry about uh, rerunning the program or anything after that um, this will be a untethered jailbreak for life because unfortunately the uh, older generation devices do not uh, have any other upgrades and uh, past 4.2.1 they will not be getting 4.3 or anything like that so they are done but you will have for life uh, and untethered jailbreak, so that's good, I guess. Um, so when this is done restoring, I will come back. All right, it's finished um, restoring. So I will go into settings, show you guys exactly what this is. So this is a 4.2.1 MC model of this iPod Touch second generation, all right? Just so everybody knows, 4.2.1 MC model, okay? And I just completely restored. CD is not on here. Um, nothing. So, all right, brand new. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're going to download Green Poison, which I'll have a link in the description. You just download it. You'll get it as a zip folder uh, right here, RC6. Okay, you're going to right click on that and click extract, you're going to want to extract all the files and you'll get green poison and a readme file which doesn't matter, so then you're going to double click on green poison and this will pop up. Alright, it'll first say, do you have an app, are you doing an Apple TV? If you are, then go ahead and click yes, but if you're not, you want to click no because you're not going to do that, and I'll say prepare to jailbreak DFU. So first it says, please power off your device and collect, uh, connect it to begin. So I'm going to do that right here. Hold on the top button. Slide to power off. All right, now it's off. Now I'm going to set this down and show you exactly what I'm going to do. All right. So I'm going to click prepare to jailbreak. It'll give you three seconds to get ready. And then it's going to tell you to hold in the top sleep button for two seconds, then hold in the home button and the sleep button for 10 seconds until it turns off. And then let go of the sleep button, but keep holding the home button, okay, for 15 seconds. All right. I have to get into DFU mode, it'll pop up like this. It'll say right here, jailbreak with an exclamation point, and this will be, oh, well, you can't click it. So then you're gonna wanna click this, and now you just wait. It'll run it all on your device. Okay, your device should uh, have a white screen like this. Now it's gonna upload the jailbreak files that you'll need. So this will pop up with like green poison uh, initialized, unable to find all that crap, don't worry about that. Um, just give it a second for this to, s now it'll say quit, don't click anything, just leave it on your screen and leave your iPod, don't touch anything and just start doing this, running all the crazy uh, files, just let it do its thing and I'll come back when this is done. Okay, it should be pretty quick and then once it's done, it'll, uh, the Apple logo will start changing and stuff into this skull logo or start freaking out doing spins and stuff just uh... just leave it let it do its thing 
let it keep going. Um, don't touch anything. And it will eventually respring and bring it to the uh, home screen. There, it turned off and now it just uh, re restarted. Now it'll spin into the skull, which is the green poison symbol. Okay, now it's respringing. And here's the home screen. So now slide to unlock. Scroll over and you will get loader, okay? Then once you get loader, you're gonna to wanna to click on that. Actually, no, you're gonna wanna Wi-Fi. You're gonna to wanna to turn on your Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected, so let me turn this on really quick. Okay, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so then you're gonna go over and click on loader. Then I'll say loading sources, and then it's just say Cydia right there. You're gonna to to click on Cydia, click install Cydia, and say downloading. Make sure you're con connected to the uh, to Wi-Fi or 3G uh, always. Don't let it uh, drop out or don't let your screen turn black or anything. Just keep it on. I say success. And you're gonna wanna go up, click options, and remove loader.app. You can do that or you can keep it on if you really want to, I guess, but you can also remove it. So click remove. After it says success, and it should respring after you click remove. See, now it's respringing. So click remove and then exit out and it'll respring your iPod. Now I should do the uh, the weird the weird skull thing right now. So here it is. It's flipping over and now it should bring you back to the home screen. Okay, now you're back on the home screen, scroll over and you will now have Cydia. Just to show you that it works, you're gonna click on Cydia and it'll show you initializing file system. Um, let it, it, this might take a, maybe around like a minute or so, two minutes to initialize everything and then it will restart your iPod so it'll turn off and then turn back on. Don't worry, just just don't touch anything, keep the screen on um, and, and let it re let it reboot and then it'll come. It'll bring back to the home screen. So I'll, I'll come back when that's done. Okay, that took about uh, two minutes or so, and then I'll bring you back to the lock screen. So I had to unlock, go back over, click on Cydia, make sure you have Wi-Fi connection. Um, it'll bring you to this to say, who are you? I always say click developer, because it'll, it won't hide anything from you, so just click developer, click done, and let it upload the database. And here is Cydia, finally on the 4.2.1 MC model of the iPod Touch second generation. And this is um, an untethered one, so you can turn your iPod off and turn it back on with ease. You won't have to run a program or anything like that. It's untethered for life. So Cydia does work. Trust me, I've been using it. So, um, so enjoy. If you have any questions, just post a comment or send me a message. Um, like this video so everybody, everybody can see it if they have the MC model. Um, comment, send me a message, and subscribe to me for new videos just like this. Um, with the new uh, RC6 Green Poison, which is this, it will jailbreak every single device out there. Um, so every every device. So don't worry about that. And on every 4.2.1 firmware, um, this is an untethered version for this. So you guys are good to go. So just remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe to me. All right, thanks, guys.